Brenton Sarah, Connecticut's annual crime statistics report for 2022 shows that both violent crimes and property crimes are down in our state. Crime in Connecticut on the decline. A new report showing that from 2021 to 2022, the state saw a 4% reduction in overall crime. I'm not surprised to see the statistics at all. Connecticut has been and remains one of the absolute safest states in the country. The Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection's Crime Analysis Unit uses information of reported crimes from police departments around the state for its annual report. It found that violent crime, instances of murder, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault dropped by 13%. Our violent crime rate is less than half the national average. The report also found property crimes are down in Connecticut. Burglary, larceny and theft, motor vehicle thefts, and arson dropped by about 3%. The FBI also released its annual crime report Monday, which showed across the U.S. property crimes are up. We have much less crime, violent and property crime, than, than pretty much any other state. Mike Lawler, associate professor of criminal justice at the University of New Haven, says these numbers have improved from where they were at the height of the pandemic. There still are problems, right? There still is more crime than there than there should be. And, uh, you know, what, what you can see here is that certain strategies seem to be effective in preventing crime in the first place. While the reports show our state is headed in the right direction, some lawmakers argue they're not reflective of how the people feel about the crime happening in their communities. But when you speak to the general public, they're still really concerned about the crime that they see out there. And it's really the top issue that's on everybody's mind. And that could have further reaching impacts as well. Like even though crime is down, car insurance is up over 18% for people because crime does have a cost. And so when you're seeing all these car thefts, that is impacting people's wallets. Coming up on the news at 11, I'll have more on how Connecticut compares to other states when it comes to violent crime. Live in Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.